Emergency drinking water. It's suggested that you have one gallon of emergency drinking water per person per She's absolutely correct. But let me show you something that most people overlook when storing water long term. See, she's rotating, which is fine. But if she had to keep that water longer than necessary, there's a little trick you want to do with your containers. Watch this. In a moment, I'm going to kill the lights so I can show you this, but here's one of the containers I recommend, and it's a link in the bio if you want to get those. Um, here's another container I recommend for water storage if you have the space for it and don't plan on moving anything. Here's the containers I never, ever recommend, and I'll show you why. So container number one, just a flashlight, and you put it right up against it. See how there's a little bit of light coming through? That's not great, but out of sunlight, this is absolutely fine. Container two, which is the 55 gallon drum, uh, barely any light coming through this one. That's great. No problem with this one. This is the Walmart containers that most people uh, end up getting. I think they're like 10 bucks, maybe 15 bucks each, but watch this. Absolutely horrible to not get these. Uh, just the light in your house can potentially build up algae. Uh, this is this is not good. Now these ones I keep with lots of uh, bleach in them. And uh, if I have to use these for some reason, I have them. I'll boil the water off, whatever I have to do. But definitely don't recommend them.